for her recitation, for her citation. Honorable Justice. I could relax but turn my duties and perform my functions honestly to the best of my ability. The President of the Senate and the leadership of the National Assembly. Outgoing Chief Justice of Nigeria, former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice 
of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, President of the Court of Appeal, and other judges and distinguished jurists here present. Secretary to the government, Chief of Staff, and the National Security Advisor. All the governors present here, the President of Nigerian Bar Association, senior government officials, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome, I warmly welcome you all to this momentous ceremony to witness a sacred and significant event in our nation. The swearing in of a distinguished jurist, Honorable Kodrat Motomari Olatokumbo Hekeria, CFR, as Acting Chief Justice of Nigeria. Before we begin, please allow me a moment on behalf of the people and government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to extend my sincere appreciation to the Honorable Justice Kyle de Arewola for his 32 years of distinct dignified and honorable service to the judiciary and our beloved country. To so this, he has served for as long as well as Justice Arewola has done. He deserves the, the thanks of a grateful nation. I pray that he will enjoy his retirement in good health and hope he is not too tired to serve in any other capacity where his experience and expertise may be called upon as we continue to build the nation of our, our, our highest dreams. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Nigerians Acting Chief Justice Kudira Atolato Kumbo come to this position with an admirable family and professional pedigree. Over the years, she established a respectable and incorruptible reputation within the bar and the bench, which has served the cause of justice. I met meritorious rights from magistrate to justice of the Supreme Court is a testament to our exceptional talent, hard work, unblemished record, strong work ethics, and dedication to our calling as a priest in the temple of justice. A stunning contribution to the growth of Nigeria and Nigerian judiciary, our legal system has been remarkable. We are inspired by our unwavering commitment to a higher ideal of upholding principles and fairness, a strong commitment to humanity. Justice Kekere is a brilliant lawyer who was called to the bar in 1981. She's now a trailblazer, becoming second woman to hold this esteemed position after Honorable Justice Aloma Mukta, Maria Mukta, GCOM, who served as the CJN from 16th July. 2012 to 20th November 
2014. Joseph Skekirekum, the ascension to this position, is a beckon of hope for young women who aspire to break the glass ceiling and make a meaningful impact on our society. Tokumbo, you are area one and one of the few, if not the only one that practiced in every court. As a lawyer, magistrate, I call judge, Court of Appeal, Supreme Court, and in principle, now, clearly, the highest court. The Supreme Court has come a long way since it was empowered by the 1963 Constitution, the Republican Constitution, to take over from the then Judicial Committee of the Privy Council as the highest court in our judicial hierarchy. Since then, it has played a critical role in evolution of our country resolving complex legal conflicts, even under the military, and shaping public policy that impact all segments of Nigerian society. Late Justice Thornwood Marshall, the American civil rights lawyer, and first American justice of the US Supreme Court once said, and I quote, the Constitution is not a static document, but rather a living instrument that must be adapted to the changing needs of our society." Unquote. Following this entrenched tradition of the APS Code, our Supreme Court under a constitutional democracy also Richard recently interpreted the 1999 constitution regarding the financial autonomy of the local councils. To quote Masha again, it is emphatically the profits and duty of the judicial department to say what the law is. We expect the APEX Court to continue to play a critical role in the evolution of our constitutional democracy and shape public policies that impact all segments of Nigerian society. I want to assure you that my administration we continue to provide appropriate support to improve the welfare and capacity of the judiciary. Is the <laughs> continue to ease the administration of justice and promote the rule of law in Nigeria. This consideration informed the expedited passage of the National Assembly and my consent to the Judicial Office Order Act of 2024, which approved the 300% increase in the remuneration of judicial officers. This came on the heel of the appointment of 11 justices of the Supreme Court in December 2023 which enabled the Supreme Court to attain its full complement of 21 justices for the first time in decades.
Let me also reassure you that the judiciary under this administration will continue to receive prompt and adequate attention in recognizing its status as a driver of social order, rule of law, peace, security, and economic development. Undoubtedly, the position of the Chief Justice of Nigeria comes with enormous responsibilities. As the head of all judicial institutions in the country, it is a position of considerable influence that demands the temperance and sobriety. The occupant of the office must exclude the highest level of integrity in the discharge of duties. This is more so because of the finality of the Supreme Court judgment. I dare for all your lordship to be faithful and loyal to the Constitution when discharging your duty as acting chief justice, justice of Nigeria. I also encourage you to defend the judiciary's independence. Always promote the cause of justice, strengthen mechanism for integrity, discipline, and transparency in the judicial sector, and pursue other reforms or initiatives to sustain public confidence in the judiciary. Today's a day on our calendar is defined Yeah, the question. <laughs> and I have one. Yeah. <laughs> to the memory of our both parents, I say, gospel. Thank every one of you for joining us for this historic occasion. May this moment inspire us all to strive for excellence in pursuing a prosperous nation where justice will always reign. May God bless you and God bless you. Appointment of my Lord Honorable Justice Kekere Kun as the acting just, Chief Justice of Nigeria. Everyone knows her for her competence, most importantly, for her moral rectitude, for her character, for her firmness. And uh, I expect to see some institutional reforms during the tenure of my Lord Honorable Justice Kekere Kun as the uh, Chief Justice of Nigeria. Uh, I, major crisis in the Nigerian judicial system. What do you expect her to do in that regard? Well, I'm sure everyone, everyone is concerned about the perception of the judiciary as being a corrupt institution. But what we have said and what we have done as an MBA is to say that every, anyone who has any reason to suspect that someone is involved in any corrupt practice. It is not sufficient for you to just make bare allegations. Go to whole hog and get that evidence to justify whatever allegations that you are going to come up with. And that issue will be dealt with decisively. But making bare allegations is even worse than corruption itself. And that is why uh, we, we do not support corruption. We are committed to fight corruption in the judiciary. But anyone who finds any such thing happening in the judiciary, please make sure that you've got your evidence. But for you to go make unsubstantiated allegations 
against any judicial officer or against the judiciary as a whole hurts this country more than the corruption itself. Because you are saying something that you cannot substantiate. You are using the same brush to, to paint everyone. You are destroying not just the judiciary, but because if you, if you understand the function of the judiciary, the judiciary is responsible for the stability of this country. So if the judiciary, if the public confidence in the judiciary is completely eroded, what we would have in our hands would be chaos, and we would even lose our country. So, so I, I, know, I know that uh, the Justice Kokere Ekun is not going to tolerate any corrupt practice, and anyone who is found to have been engaged or is involved in a corrupt practice, and the evidence is brought before such a person, he will be dealt decisively. That I can assure you. What are you doing about it? Oh, sure. I mean, if you've been following the activities of the Nigerian Bar Association, you would know that we've been very strong on the fight against corruption. We have issued statements and we have made commitments that anyone we find involving or involving in any corrupt practice, we would call him out and we would have the appropriate authorities deal with such a person. Thank you. Sir, I just want you to have a word from you on these seizures of Nigerian aircraft. What is going on? Why are we... Are we I, I will not speak of that. The Honorable Attorney General is handling that particular issue and I'm sure he's doing it well. Please, you can get additional information from the Honorable Attorney General in that regard. Thank you. What is that? You know that to all Nigerians, you know, um, for, but to especially um, the state that I to pretend over, Lagos State. But we're indeed very excited. We're very, very excited. Um, first, because um, we have not kept any, any vacuum you know, in our democracy, and that's the beauty of it. You know, yesterday we had a former CJN step down, haven't attained, you know, the statutory age, and within 24 hours, you know, we've seen the beauty of our democracy. Uh, Mr. President himself had to um, um, stop his own trip to ensure that, you know, um, governance and democracy does not stop. It doesn't, there's no vacuum, you know, and, and he has shown the importance and the strategic relevance of the judiciary to ensure that we have a new Chief Justice of the Federation, albeit in an acting capacity within 24 hours, so that nothing is left you know, to chance at all. And we're indeed excited that he's taking it you know, as a very serious constitutional responsibility to come in and, and, and exercise you know, um, and conduct the, the swearing-in ceremony um, this morning. And you also could see that the National Assembly too were well represented by the Senate President himself. You know, so for us, you know, it's a beauty of what, what our democracy is. And to all Nigerians, I think it's another moment for us to be thankful. She will be, you know, um, the second female Chief Justice of the Federation. And, and what a time, you know, um, and we're indeed excited. We're excited not just because she's a Lagosian, I am, but because of who she is. You know, she's been an outstanding jurist, you know, and from my resume, she's one of the only very few people that started first, you know, just as a lawyer, you know, and also passing through all of the various courts, magistrate courts, the, the, the high court, the court of appeal, and of course now becoming um, the Supreme Court, you know, and the chief judge of, of chief justice of, of the Federation. So it, it brings about, you know, a time um, that we all need to continue to um, ensure that our democracy understands and appreciates the clear um, separation of power and for everyone understanding and knowing fully well that yes they are independent but we all need each other you know at various verticals to ensure that it all fits in you know to, to, to um, and in appropriately so for me is really for the judiciary which the former CGN had started the reforms to continue to 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 to, to continue and for her to show that leadership that we know her too well for and ensuring that they are the last bus stop. Whatever they say is the final, no other person can. And so for, we'll pray for her, for God to ask and to enable her to do that. Thank, Thank you, you very much.